and we're working it out. We can only fit another 30, 34 on board. Not a bad thing if we uh, end up that full. Okay, so we're off, day four. <clears throat> we're going down to Camel, Lyle Brown, Brumby and Parsons. And that's gonna be almost an hour and a half to two hours for Danny and I to get down there. So uh, the vehicle setup today is the Iveco with a double deck stock crate. Danny's in the Volvo with two crates and Ant's going to be coming down in Bruiser and Jasmine and Dad are going to fly straight down to Lyle Brown where Ant dropped off Rommel yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Radio. Let's um, get into it. So I've just pulled up here with, with the Iveco at Parsons Long Airstrip, which Danny graded the other day. Bloody brilliant job. Um, even though he did the wrong airstrip. But <laughs> he, he got them both done, so he did pretty well. Uh, he did both airstrips here at Parsons and the one at Lyle Brown before the grader decided to um, not work for us for the rest of the week. So that's just that tire issue. Oh well. So Danny is coming along now with both trailers. We're thinking that we'll probably be able to drop one of the trailers off at Lyle Brown so we can run lighter out to Camel because that was the stretch we needed to grade was Lyle Brown out to Camel. Yeah, Ant and I might uh, go set up for him or I'll jump in with Danny, I'm not sure yet. So I'll shut this down, I'll shut this down, I'll shut this down. Yes, Jasmine, I said that three times. And get ready to jump in. All right, Danny, if you follow us, we're going to go down the airstrip a bit and then turn around so that you're facing uphill when we unhook your back trailer. So have we got a good line where he's not going to get any pinchies yeah. like through? Yeah. yeah. So Jasmine and Dad have gone ahead in Rommel. So they flew in, landed here, picked up Rommel, which Ant drove down yesterday. And they've told us that we only need one trailer out there. So we're going to unhook Danny's back trailer. And um, yeah, we'll be on our way. So after two hours to the minute, we are at Camel. <laughs> and I might try something different with videoing this one. Yes. And um, put the microphone on you and dad. And we'll use the video from the camera up there. I'm probably better without the mic. Because you're swearing. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess that's a no. <laughs> Well, I guess you'll just get Jasmine and I chatting at the front. Now they say they're quiet as dairy cows. The three musketeers go to battle. We're going to train Danny on tags so that while I'm gone, he is... Tagging up. Tagging up. Do you need your seatbelts? There's the pointy boy. So Camel does. Every set of yards today has horns. Ant wanted horns. What we needed to do is have commentary and we'd be like, and here we have Tim talking quietly to the cattle. Danny deciding which one is going to send Ant over the top row. And 
and deciding which rail he's going to jump. Alright, so Tim and Danny have grabbed the rails to swing around the back to put the seatbelts on to give us a second hand. You're fine, Mummy. Stay where you are. Would you like a scratch cup? Don't you hear that? Oh. The plane is up the front. We try to stay as quiet as we can and not push any cattle back. Once they've got the seatbelts done, they'll go for the second gate and Danny will start to work towards the back sliding gate. Once scratch? Tim gives the all go. And up the front, Jasmine gives the cow a nice little uh, scratching tickle. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good neck scratch? Just there marked. She's marked. Yeah, okay. Get ready to send her. Don't me on those and you do these. No, I am going to. Master it. Ready. Up, Bella. Go on. Well, Danny would be up here if he didn't went up on the rails having a gas bag. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a calf somewhere. She's got a, she's just waiting to get rid of that milk. Mark, mark, mark. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Two Mickeys at the back. All right, Mama Cow, I'm just going to hold you to encourage the other boys up. Looks too good to be this silly. There's some nice boys outside. Haven't been caught yet. He spat, got me in the mouth. That's very nice of him. Sharing his um morning kisses. Bodily fluid. Mm. <laughs> Oh, don't be a bit scary. Oi, oi, oi. Danny, we'll get you doing some tags. Danny. Get you doing some tags, because I'm going to be gone and then you're going to help Jack next week. So we'll get you doing some tags. That one, shiny side up, on this side. Shiny side. Shiny side up. Yeah. Yep. Just there. Yeah. And then that one, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, just, just on there. Yep. And you don't go too far in, because otherwise it tries to cut too much. Yep. Yeah, you can crunch all the way through. 
Keep going. Keep going, Danny. Let him know your business, yep. And then this one, this bit with the numbers facing you. Yep, uh, no. that way, and in the middle. Yep, and then one whole big crunch all the way through. Yep, and then you pull it away. And then he goes up on the truck. Yep. So it goes, that's a little button you squeeze, and that one goes in there like that. And then that sharp one just goes on there, reloaded for next time. So you hang out here with Jack, and I'll be around to support you. Yep. So he's got to go up the truck. Come on, little fella. Three cows all out. All out, these three, yep. He's right. All out. Mark this little heifer. Boom, Mark, boom. Boom. Yeah, front gate, Danny. Yep. Yeah. Oi, don't be a turd. Don't be a turd. What's oh, that little one, Ed? Yep. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Good little fella. Shiny side up. Oh, hold that boy. Yep. Big crunch all the way through. All right, so that's camel done. A little bit of fun. They went really well. Yeah, very well. Number? Um, I think it's 25 or 26. All right. Yeah. Cool. Which was a surprise. We weren't expecting so many. No. All right, so we're going to pack up and move on to Lyle Brown. And uh, we'll be on the move pretty shortly. We're back on track and we're on our way now to Lyle Brown. Today's Jasmine's last day with us out at mustering because she's off to Perth this weekend. So the kids can spend the second week of school holidays. Yeah. Yeah. It is school holidays, isn't it? No, it'll be school when we're in Perth. Oh, this is right. the first week of school. So the kids are going to miss the first week of school, but spend some time with their Perth Nana, Linda, and Granddad Ed. So yeah, they're going to have some fun in Perth probably get spoiled rotten like they usually do. Um, so it's going to be a, a lot of grandparent time for the kids. So next week it's going to be Danny, Dad, Aunt and I on the cattle, but then Aunt's off on Wednesday for the big day. So he's got all these battle scars and he's fighting fit. That's why we're getting Danny skilled up on doing the earmarks and nils so that we can swap it around a little bit and I can give my hands a little bit of a rest. Yeah, and then Louise, Jack's mum, is going to come out and be the master bookkeeper in the counter and have herself a bit of, you know, time out working and actually feeling like she owns a cattle station. 
And we've told her that she's only allowed one gin and tonic per yard. <laughs> yes, the car can't be too askew. <laughs> so that'll be good. We'll, um, over the weekend, I'm going to make the yards a little bit nicer for drafting. We'll set the yards on Sunday because Sunday and Monday are going to be very hot. In fact, Tuesday is going to be quite hot as well. But what we'll do is we will wrap up the southern part of the station next week and then we'll be able to do a draft up and have a look at the numbers that we got and um, start to think about sending a load off. Yeah. All right, um, and yeah, this is the track that we didn't grade yesterday. So there's a few spots which are a little bit interesting, but we will get through, and especially with the weight on my drives, having 27. Mm. 26? Seven. 27 bulls on board. We try our, but they may look like they're screaming and struggling, but we try our best to be as low stress and get them through the process, because it's all new to them. Get them through the process as stress free as possible and get them onto some nice food and great great water yeah i mean you got to think about it like you're taking a bunch of let's call it six-year-old kids to some place new and strange for the first time there's a lot of what the hell is going on there's a lot of unhappiness and 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 balking at things that are unusual to them it's exactly the same you're trying to hurt them as gently as you can and get them through and and unfortunately sometimes a kid hurts themselves or a bull hurts themselves you know it's it's the closest analogy i could think of really but and look it's handling them more and more and getting them used to us is the trick so you know doing a, a fair round a processing round where we're not loading them onto the truck where we'd be putting the tags in and putting rings on if we we're going to do steers earlier gets them used to us so it's um one of those one of those things we're going to do more of is get out and get the time on the cattle and just get them used to us so it's not a big new exciting thing for them but it'll make them tamer cattle more saleable and better for market yeah all right so we didn't film it but we just hooked up the back trailer because we're going to leave those fellas in the front to have a bit of room and we've got the second truck anyway over at Parsons. So I'm just gonna swing over. Jasmine's having a nice walk and planes there. And we'll uh, hook up to this. Eventful yards, so okay. I just saw that boy, he looks angry. <laughs> I redact my previous statement of two seconds ago. Yep, I'm gonna shut this all up at the front here so they don't come barreling out. But he's got horns. Danny, you want to uh, go say good day to him? The boy with the horns that just charged dad. I'm going to set this up somewhere in the shade. Maybe the grader has a good opportunity. There's two in there with horns. He's definitely Santa. Yeah, it probably is a bit of Santa in
Right, so that's Lyle Brown. That's 16 bulls, one broken panel. And I tell you what, the big fella, he's a lot of work. He, um, he's even trying to jump out of the crate. He got most of himself out of there, but we growled at him and he started to behave. So we're gonna punch on and get the other truck ready. All right, so we've just pulled up near Parsons Long Airstrip and Jasmine and I are just going to swap over to the Iveco. So we've got all those boys on this truck and they're going to have a little bit of a rest while we go get some of their mates and uh, bring them in. Don't change, don't change. We haven't done the back yet. And um, while you're there, do you want to go to the door in the middle, yeah. please? And I reckon you got him to go a bit too far, Dad. You know, we've got too much room on the other side. Yeah, about, you know, 50 centimetres too, too far, Ant. We could <laughs> Precision's what we're about. Yeah, that's right. Alright, Victoria doors. He, he got pulled for bull scratching. Oh, well, that was, um, yeah, that was the equine, there was the Aquinas boy, but the, well, there's, hang on, hang on. He was captain. He lost the captainhood too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not, um, oh. In South Africa. Yeah, I know. That is good because. He gets the, when Smith. he, Smith, Steve, 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 Steve Smith. He walks backwards and forwards and scratches his left testicle. The and then he. Out. No. no. You did. Yes. This is why we lose it. See, that's why I put him there so you could pick him up and <laughs> put him on the table. This is why we lose it. See, how they nice little heap there. And you get all grumpy when it's all lost. Yeah, no. They, they were put all together so, so that they could be lost together. Yeah. Now it does. Who, who, who set these? I did. What? I put the arms in. You left the bottom arm out on the left hand side. On the left? Yeah. Did we have a spare one there? I put it in. Right. It didn't have a... Pin in. Pin in. Oh, okay. And, and they'd Pin. flicked it out. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, we've got to bring that one forward then. Uh, what did you... Right, we're going to get stuck into it. Um, yeah, I'll see how we go up there. All right, Parsons. Show us what you got.
Uh, that's Parsons. The GoPro overheated for a bit there. So we'll see what the over the top look is like. And yeah, that, that should be okay. But yeah, the GoPro overheated again. It's not like it's terribly hot today. Uh, 37 on that. So yeah, that's a little annoying. But yeah, 27 boys there at Parsons. A little bit of entertainment. Less wind today. Uh, but we are cracking through the numbers pretty well. Now we've only got one more water point. These ones are nice and close together. That's why we aren't going for as long because um, we're only in a straight line. It's nice and easy. Right, I've just got to bail out and go turn this pump back on. The tank's got a crack in it and it seems to leak only when it's um, only when it's over a certain level got to change the float level or whack in one of the new tanks we've got. So I'm by myself at the moment. Jasmine's in the cruiser. Danny's got the Volvo to take those fellas along and we're working it out. We can only fit another 30, 34 on board. Not a bad thing if we uh, end up that full. Just so you know, Jack, Danny is rolling. I'm not sure if he's got his radio, um, you know, keyed in properly, but I can see that he's rolling behind me. Yep, all good. What was the Lyle Brown number? One six. 16. Cheers. And it was 28 from Parsons. So yeah, Dad, if we were put like needing to, we can fit 40 on. Not likely that we'll get that. Yep, that'll be mum incoming. So, mum's on a mum and the kids are on their way out. So I guess that means it's all hands on deck. All right, so dad's getting mum to go in to the in gate, just to block that off. And we can see some of our cattle from Lyle Brown have made their way over already while we've been processing here. All right, Grumby. No horses here. This time. Yeah, this time, there will be horses. Um, Dad's actually spotted some when he was flying the other day, so we will uh, endeavor to capture some of those. But, uh, yeah, last water point for the day, thank goodness. Bets are on 30. 30? Yeah, that, I can see that happening. Bets are on 30. Yep. Jasmine? Yes. Is that a whole bunch of tech screws? All the wires. the bits of wire that came out of Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good Well, it looks like it's tango time. Web is dry. Web, mm -hmm. you put a new pump down that.
Push, push. All right. Well, that's Brumby. Took us uh, three and a half, maybe four hours. Can't exactly remember when we pulled up at Parsons. I can always check the camera. Uh, so how many was that, Mum? 4,3221. Oh, yep. Yeah, he doesn't count. How many balls did we put on? Thirty-eight balls, right. So thirty-eight balls, and we said we could fit exactly thirty-eight on. <laughs> it's been snotted up. Yeah, so thirty-eight balls on board. I'm going to move this race just forwards. Do you want help with these heavy things? All right, okay. Uh, we finished Brumby, and then as we we're pulling out, uh, Dad called up to let Danny know that we had a flat tire on the Volvo. So we've just been changing that. So that's just perfect. Uh, at the end of a Friday. Uh, it's 10 to 5 now. At the moment we're just driving straight into the sun which is not fun but uh, it's going to be half an hour, 40 minutes from here back to home. Uh, that puts it just around like 20 minutes to sunset. So I'm not sure how much footage we'll get of the offloading but it's going to take us a little while because we've got three decks of cattle to offload. So Danny and I are going to drive home nice and steady. No greater than really 50k an hour until we have to send it up the jump up. Um, fair bit of the footage we didn't get of actually processing at Brumby because the GoPro decided to start spazzing out even more. So we're just you know dealing with technical difficulties brings us to a total for today of many many balls so yeah we're just gonna cruise on home offload some cattle and say thanks for joining us today